What's up, Stream Geeks? I am here at Micro Center, and today I want to build a custom live streaming computer with you guys, talking about some of the latest gear that's out here, and just kind of build a live streaming system, whether you're connecting PTZ cameras, doing gaming, or live streaming and capture. Let's talk about some of the cool components here, because there's no better place than Micro Center to build your own computer. When you come to Micro Center, the employees here can walk you through all the latest things, and they've even got, if you swing over here, they even have a build your own live streaming computer entire area where we can select the computer, the case, everything. So let's jump into it. I'm not really good at building custom computers myself. So one of the things I like to do when I come to Micro Center is they'll build it for us. You can see here, they'll do a full assembly of everything for $199. Even if you have to do like a cooling system and all this stuff, it's a little bit more expensive, but they will help you build this stuff. Let's take a look at the graphics cards. So this is really some of the latest graphics cards from NVIDIA. We've got the 4070, we've got the 4080, and the 4090. Now I wanna take a moment to talk about the difference between your motherboard, which has your CPU, right? Your computer processing unit, and the graphics card. Both are super important but it depends on what you're doing. So the processor runs all the processes in your computer. So it's gonna run your software, it's going to run uh, decoding of different things. So if you're doing IP video, it's gonna decode the video. And then depending on the software that you use, the software can offload a lot of the processing directly to a graphics card. So in the live streaming world, if you're using OBS or you're using vMix, you wanna go into your settings and select your graphics card so that the software is able to offload all the video processing to a graphics card. So the graphics card ends up doing a lot of the processing by your live streaming software. So as soon as you start doing two or more video cameras, as soon as you start doing 4K video, you start streaming and recording, processing video, that's when you, you're gonna to start to get hiccups unless you have a powerful enough graphics card and your software is set up to use the graphics card. So this is just giving you an idea. We're gonna look at some of the pre-built machines to give you an idea of pricing in just a minute. All right, so right here we have all the AMD processors and all of the Intel processors. You can see down here it starts at i3 at just $129 jumping it up to an i7 200 and then look at the size of these i9s if you get an i9 lucky you starting at about five hundred dollars these are bigger and more powerful processors again you depending on how many softwares you're going to be using at the exact same time um having that extra processing if you're doing a multi-camera system try to get an i7 if you're doing 4k i think an i9 is a must but it depends on your graphics card. You can probably get away with an i7 in some scenarios. All right, so really quickly, you know, we're talking about building custom computers, but I want to take a peek at a few of these laptops. Look at this one here from MSI. It's only 1600 bucks. It's got an i9 processor running at 5.8 gigahertz. It's got 32 gigabytes of RAM, and they fit a 4070 in here, NVIDIA graphics card. So this would be ideal for a 4K live streaming system. Coming in at just $1599, this one here is $1799, getting you pretty much the similar specs, but it's got the RTX 4060. So just to give you an idea, for like $1500 roughly, you can get a laptop capable of 4K live streaming. Again, we're not putting graphics cards into, or sorry, we're not putting capture cards, PCIe capture cards into laptops the way that we can with desktops. So that's a pretty big difference. But if we're doing NDI video and we've got that i9 processor and a graphics card, we can go all the way up to 4K live streaming with a laptop like this. So we actually just bought a couple of these at our office. This is an Alienware uh, R16 gaming PC. It's got a 24 core i9 because we just needed something that was top of the line. This is it right here. It's three thousand dollars. It has a two terabyte solid state hard drive, 32 gigs of RAM. Now they can upgrade that to 64 gigs here in the store. Um, it has a 4080 RTX graphics card. 
and this is just really top of the line from Alienware. Alienware was purchased by Dell recently and our company has a contract with Dell, so we went with it. But uh, I wanna show you some of the other options here at Micro Center. All right, we are not going in the Apple area. The Apple area has a lot of live streaming computers, obviously, but usually Windows computers are better for live streaming. That is the advice coming from me. I've been in this industry for a long time and Apple computers are great for a lot of things. If you're trying to build an affordable live streaming system, you probably want to stay out of the Apple section. Now, this computer we were just looking at, $1599. It's got an i9 processor. It's got 32 gigs of RAM. Maybe you upgrade that to 64. It's got a one terabyte hard drive and an RTX 4070 for $1599. Two years ago, this would have been three to $4,000 and you would have had to custom build it. This is why I love coming into Micro Center. Micro Center builds these. This is literally a Micro Center product where they picked out all the best parts and pieces for a live streaming computer like this. The nice thing about a desktop is you've got these open PCIe ports here. So if you do need to bring in some SDI or HDMI outputs, you can. The graphics card has four video outputs. So you can have two monitors. Plus you've still got two extra to power a projector. So if you're permanently installing this in your church or in a place where you're gonna be live streaming a lot, a desktop's better. But when we look at those laptops, I mean, seriously, I mean, for if you're mobile or you wanna be able to bring that on a plane with you, the laptops today from 1500 to 2000 already have these graphics cards built in to that beautiful little package. I know I like to do live streaming with my laptop. Just remember, if you're using a laptop, there's a couple little tips I wanna give you. One is make sure your laptop is powered into power. Don't run your live streaming system off of battery power. Windows will immediately put that into a performance mode where it tries to save battery and tries to reduce the processing power of the computer. So you have to go into the power settings and make sure that your computer is not optimizing for you know battery usage by reducing the processing power of the graphics card. That's one thing. Another thing is if you're using vMix or you're using OBS, make sure that you have the graphics card selected in your software. So your software can offload some of that processing to the graphics card that will avoid skipped frames and kind of uh, issues that you can have with your video. All right, well, that was our tour here at, at Micro Center. Check out your local Micro Center, such a cool place to come to look for live streaming and video production computers.